Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss about exist clause. Okay, a very important topic with respect to data engineering or data analyst related role. And especially if you are working with correlated subquery, then this particular concept can help you in writing many complex queries. Okay, so without any further delay, let us try to understand when we require that with one example. Okay. So suppose the problem statement is list these suppliers with a product price less than 20. Okay. So here we are having a product table which is containing product ID as primary key. Okay. And we are having a supplier table where supplier ID is the primary key. Okay. In the product table, the supplier ID column is there which is acting like a foreign key. Okay. That is basically we can connect the relationship between this particular product table and supplier table based on the supplier ID column. That's pretty much clear, right? Now, what is the requirement? The requirement is we have to list those suppliers who are having product which is having price less than 20. Like if you consider in this particular data, what will be the output? See supplier ID 1. So supplier ID 1 is present in first three rows, okay? Out of first three rows, if you check the product price, 18, 19, 10, all are basically less than 20, okay? So basically this particular supplier name we have to return in the output, okay? Coming to supplier ID 2, okay, if you see supplier ID 2, these last two rows are there and for both of them the product price is greater than 20. So supplier ID 2 name will not come, okay? Similarly 3 and 4 will not come because 3 and 4 are not even present in the product table, right? So in this particular case the expected output is this particular supplier name, okay? Now pause the video and try to think about one approach which you can utilize to frame this kind of SQL query which can return this particular name, okay? And here I am explaining the approach, okay? So what we can generally do? We can follow a very simple straightforward approach. We can first join these two tables based on supplier ID column and then we can put a filter condition on the price column and we can only take those particular supplier names or supplier IDs whatever is required who are having the product price less than 20 okay so the code will look like this if you see the inner query first select supplier name and price from suppliers so second table name is supplier and we are doing inner join with products okay so first table is products where products dot supplier ID equal to suppliers dot supplier id okay we are joining based on the supplier id column and then this particular inner query result suppose we are storing in c which is the alias name there we are applying a filter condition c dot price less than 20 and that we will be getting the supplier name okay but here one small problem is there if you see this particular relationship is basically one to many relationship okay one particular supplier ID is tagged to multiple product rows. So this same supplier name you will be getting multiple times if you directly apply in this select query. Okay. So what we are doing in the outer query, we are applying distinct supplier name. We are applying a distinct clause to get only the distinct supplier names who are having product price less than 20. Okay. This is a simple approach. Okay. Now let's try to understand how we can optimize that. Okay. So first of all, we should be understanding why we need this optimization. So we use generally joins to add fields from different tables in our select queries, which is pretty obvious, right? And now sometimes we apply criteria on those fields, which we are taking from another table in our where clause. Okay, like here, if you see in this particular case, we are doing that only. The price column is present in another table and we are importing this price column using join and on that we are applying the where clause condition, right? That's what I have written here, that we sometimes also apply criteria to those fields in our where clause, okay? But what if we only need to bring in a field to use in our where clause and don't need to see it in the query, okay? Try to understand the requirement. We only need the field or the column from another table just to apply on where clause, okay? Or just to apply in filter condition. We don't want to get that in the output. Like here, if you see this particular scenario, here the product price, we don't want in the output. Just we are bringing that in the supplier table with the join concept just to apply the filter condition, right? 
so that time what we can do instead of using join we can use exist what the exist will do the exist query just check whether data is there or not if data is there it will return true if data is not there it will return false no count query, no max, mean, sum, nothing you can apply. Just it will check whether the data is present or not and it will return true or false. Okay, right? That's what exists come in picture. So, remember this kind of scenario when you need to apply filter condition and for that you need to bring some field or column from another table and that column which you are taking from another table or which you are referring from another table that you don't want to display in the output section. All you want, you just want to apply a filter condition, okay? That time, instead of working with joins, you can use exist concept, okay? To check whether such row is exist or not in our another table, which is satisfying those criteria, okay? So, it might appear a little bit complex. Let's go through the query and we'll be understanding the easy approach, okay? So, here we are having our these two tables. We need our supplier names who are basically having such products which is having price less than 20, right? So, what we can do? Select supplier name from suppliers. First of all, we need supplier name, right? As output. And supplier name is present in suppliers table. So, we need to put this kind of query, obviously, right? And then what we'll do? We'll put where exists, okay? And here parenthesis open, parenthesis close, okay? Now, what we want to do? We want to check whether for each row in the supplier table, when we'll be going row by row, We'll be picking up one particular supplier ID and we'll be basically using that supplier ID to filter in this particular product table and we will check whatever supplier ID is matching with this product table in those rows, whether the price is less than 20 or not, such row is present or not. If such row is present, then we will show that output, okay? And what I have told you that exist will just check whether whatever condition you have applied after filtering based on those conditions such row exists or not it will not return such thing on which you can apply count sum mean max etc okay so as long as you are returning something you are perfectly fine what you are returning that does not matter right so what we can do we can return select one okay because just we want to check whether the inner query what we are putting based on that condition such row exists in another table or not okay so, select supplier name from suppliers where exist up to this it is very simple and what we are doing now, select one from products. So, now we are checking in product table where products.supplier id on supplier id we will be filtering equal to suppliers.supplier id. Okay, so this is also acting like correlated subquery that is for each row in the outer query the inner query will be executed one one time. Right? That's what the concept of correlated subquery. That's why first I discussed correlated subquery in my previous video and then I am ex explaining exist condition so that you will be able to catch and correlate those concepts. Okay, so all we are doing we are iterating in the supplier table and each time we are taking a supplier id we are checking in the product table what are those supplier IDs based on those who are filtering the rows and we are checking whether price is less than 20 such rows exist or not. If such row exist, this particular where exist column will return true and that supplier name will be getting. Very simple. Okay. So, just remember in this way, first concept is we want to apply a filter condition on price column and we don't want to return that output in the result set. Okay. We don't want to display the a price column in the output right so that time instead of join we'll be applying exist condition and in exist it will just return true or false it will just check whatever inner query you are putting that is returning something or not so as long as it is returning something we are perfectly fine so that's why i have given select one i no need to put something okay select one from products where products are supplier ID equal to suppliers or supplier ID. So just, just think like this. Suppose we are iterating row wise. Suppose we are in the first row. Supplier ID is 1. So in this particular inner query, in the suppliers or supplier ID, the value 1 will be coming. And on this particular product stable supplier ID column, it will be applying a filter condition that whether product stable supplier ID equal to 1 or not. So that time only these three rows will be filtered. And then the second condition is price less than 20 or not. Then all these three rows will be filtered because here all the price are less than 20. Okay. So we will be basically getting true as the outcome of the inner query. 
and that time the exist clock or clause will say okay this kind of inner query condition is satisfied so it will return true and we will be getting this apply and that's it okay we no need to apply any distinct clause it will give us only single value only in this particular context okay right so i hope you understood this very simple let's apply that and then we'll be getting more feeling so first what we are doing we are creating the database and then here we are creating the product table i'll be quickly creating that if I do see that start from product table here, I will be getting the data. And here I'll be applying the suppliers table. I'll be creating that insert some data. And we'll do see that start from suppliers. Okay. Here we are getting the data. Okay. Now, what is the requirement? List those suppliers with a product price less than 20. Okay. So ideally, what we can do? Select. Here I can put suppliers table, right? So here select suppliers. I can put inner join okay with the product table inner join products okay product table and on which column we want to apply join we want to apply join on supplier ID column right equal to products dot supplier ID okay and here I can put only the maybe supplier name I'll be taking and then product price also let me take okay from the product side so here when you are joining these two tables let's see what output we can get So here we are getting all this data, okay? And then here what we can do, we can basically put another AND condition and uh, price less than 20, okay? If we run that, here same name we are getting multiple times. That's why here I can put one distinct condition and I don't need that price column, right? Because ultimately I need only the names. So I can run this query and here I'll be getting this particular name, which is perfectly fine, right? Now what I have told you that if you want to just bring column from another table just to apply filter condition, just to check whether such condition is satisfying rows are present or not, then you no need to do join, rather you can apply exist, okay? So what I can do, select, then we need supply name, right? As output from we will be taking the suppliers table and how simple we can write the query where exists and then here inside that we will be putting the condition. So I can put select star or one whatever you can put okay does not matter one row it is returning or multiple rows it is returning okay as long as it is returning something that's fine okay. Select star from product table we will be checking in products table where price is less than 20 and basically in product table we will be applying the condition that product dot supplier id is matching with the supplier id column where the current rate is iterating okay so that particular supplier id from the supplier table i will be referring from outer query so here you, i hope you can understand that outer query and inner query are related that's why this particular exist concept is also part of correlated supplier okay so if I run this one, here very simply I'll be getting this particular name, okay. Instead of star, if I put 1, then also I'll be getting the same record, okay. If I put 0, then also I'll be getting the same record, okay. So the thing is, as long as your exist query is returning something, you are perfectly fine, okay. So what we are doing, we are iterating in the suppliers table. Each time we are taking the particular supplier ID and we are checking that that particular supplier id is present in our product table or not if it is present in which rows it is present for those rows whether price is less than 20 or not if this condition is satisfied then this select query will return something right so as long as inner query is returning something we are perfectly fine and we can take the name in the output okay very simple i hope you got the concept because exist concept is very important to understand another snowflake concept which i am going to cover in my upcoming session that's why I thought to cover this one and especially in this kind of context, okay, where you are having 
one to many relationship like here supplier id one this is primary key but here this is multiple in multiple row supplier id is there right so whenever you will join this kind of data then the data will be exploded okay for one row you will be getting multiple match right so multiple rows will be created right so now think in the big data world it will be very much huge volume of data after join so that kind of data handling is not good in case of join condition join approach rather what we can do we can apply existing it's okay that's all so i hope you have understood this this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you are not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of all latest videos thank you